Well then, good morning and what a beautiful, stunning, sunny Saturday morning it is. Now you join me down on my syndicate. It's only my second ever session down here since I've had the ticket. Just for whatever reason, I've just not been able to make the most of it yet this year. But as I say, I'm out on my second session. Um, probably about three, four weeks ago, I've done my first session of 24 hours, a bit of a recce session really. Turned up for light, first light. Kept walking around until I saw fish, saw fish, dropped on them for 24 hours and nothing materialized unfortunately, but it gave me a good feel for the place and I managed to find some nice spots in and amongst that swim. Now it's my second session and I uh, turned up yesterday after work, five o'clock, had a chat down in the car park area with a few of the locals that I know from around the area. And then it started to lash it down, started to go and sit in the car for half an hour, loaded up my barrow, made my way around to my first choice swim had a little bit of a lead around and sort of feature find with a deeper and uh, yeah it's just chock a block of weed and as you can expect time was pressing on I'd already set sort of like the bivy and chuck some bits up underneath it because it looked like it was going to lash down again and uh, yeah it just wasn't the one so I come and dropped into a swim next door um, proceeded to do the same have a little bit of a lead around chuck the deeper around and found a really nice area that I could present three baits for at least for, for the night anyway just to get fishing so Got some bait out, around two kilos of bait. Stuck three uh, plastic pop-ups out amongst it. Just because this place is renowned for its crayfish. And uh, yeah, this morning, just after 8 a.m., in which I thought the morning bite period may have passed my uh, left hand rod. Don't know if you can see from that sun, but down there, the left hand rod has gone absolutely melting off. I couldn't quite believe it in all honesty. And uh, yeah, then I proceeded to do battle with, oh, I don't even know what I was attached to, to, attached to to start with. It was going some and going some and going some. Um, every time I gained 10 yards, it took 30. And it just kept doing that and doing that and doing that for I reckon the best part of 20 minutes. But you know what? We, I've got him in the net. Oh, I'm absolutely, literally buzzing my backside off. Really, really, really nice common. Now, if that doesn't go up a 20, I will be very, very surprised. He is uh, quite a long one. And uh, yeah, oh, he give me the runaround good and proper. I am absolutely buzzing like you would not believe. Like, second ever second ever session down here and uh yeah i just it just everything just fell into place even though it was dark i was operating in the dark and everything like that um yeah this paid me it's just rewarded me and paid me off nicely for the effort that i put in last night i could have quite easily just sacked it off and just you know got my head down for the night and just got up early and stuff but i proceeded to get the rod sorted and everything else and uh make best use of the limited time that i get to spend down here so, um, oh yeah, I'm so, so happy to see him slide into the net after all that time of playing him out there. You know, the longer it goes on, the more you start to worry that there's a chance that you could be losing it and it will be getting away, but not the case with this one. So I'm going to go and get everything sorted because I've literally just landed him, you know, five minutes ago. I was down to my pants because I've got a bank of weed in front of me and I wanted to make sure I got him over that and it was easy to net. So I had to guide him through the weed and stuff. Oh yeah, just mental. I'm not even had my first coffee in the morning, so uh, so yeah, nothing sorted. So let's go and get all the mat and everything set up. We'll get him up, we'll have a look, we'll see how, how much he goes weight-wise. And uh, yeah, we'll get some pictures, but oh, what a way to start the session. Well then, he's up on the scales and uh, yeah, he's, 33 and a half pound look at this absolute mammoth fish oh look at the size of this <laughs> look at that my first ever <clears throat> Cotswold syndicate fish 33 plus common absolutely buzzing 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 just look at him absolute dinosaur of a fish oh wow 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 look at him proper proper nice slate grey colour just look at him what an absolute unit 
Oh, mega, mega, mega happy with that one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So I've also got a little bit of an update for you as well. You, some of you that may have seen on my social media um, that I, I have decided to leave Witchwood. Now, that was a personal choice, a decision by me, for me. Um, you know, no bad blood, no nothing. Um, it was just purely something that I've been thinking about the last few months. And uh, I've decided, yeah, to uh, cease my sponsorship deal with Witchwood. So I've thoroughly enjoyed the last five years of my time um, spent with Witchwood, um, getting involved in many different aspects of the brand. Um, you know, using all the tactical HD gear, reviewing it, you know, giving you the up close videos, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, thoroughly love my opportunities that I've been given to uh, be involved in the brand. So yeah, as of today, I am no longer with Witchwood. So I thought I'd just share that with you, just in case, uh, yeah, any of you thinking, um, you know, otherwise or not really pushing any products or anything like that as yet, because I've decided to uh, part, part ways with the guys. And like I say, there's no bad blood or anything like that. It all ended on very, very, very good terms. So, um, really really happy and like i say more than appreciative and uh more than thankful really for all the opportunities that i've been given um throughout my time so uh i think it's the time to finish this get some breakfast on the go i can't really see anything happening in all honesty um the sun's come out although the wind swang around now so you never know but uh yeah i could probably do a freshening up uh the other two rods just making sure they're all right the uh, crays are pretty savage in here, I've been told. Not that I've uh, sort of had any cray indication, but you never know. Uh, and maybe just get some more bait out there, rest a swim, that sort of thing. Just uh, maybe go up and down, have a little look. Just generally get a bit more of a feel for the place in all honesty. So I'll shut up there, I've chewed your ear off enough. I'm gonna enjoy this, kick back, enjoy, enjoy this beautiful day. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you when a few more developments have happened. Well then, uh, it's just coming up to around 6 p.m. Um, I thought I'd try out a, uh, a set of new microphones that uh, I've recently purchased, which enables me to be a lot sort of further away from the camera rather than it being stuck right in my face. And uh, obviously might allow for a few different angles and that sort of, you know, that sort of thing. A bit of a mix up to the sort of content. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd give them, give them a go now. I've got the uh, tree trunk is a perfect little seat to sit on as I speak to you. So yeah, as I say, it's coming up to around 6 p.m. I've just had a, uh, just had some food, sorted me out for the night. But uh, yeah, nothing else, nothing else has happened um, today on the fish front. But uh, you know, that's sort of big pit fishing. It's not relentless like my usual type of fishing. It is sort of, you know, a bit of bait and weight, sit on your hands type um, scenario. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do, knowing that, you know, I had a fish like uh, this morning. And not only that, when I put some bait out around sort of half hour, 45 minutes ago, while I was baiting up, I saw a show just, not just beyond, but beyond where I'm fishing, but 
you know within the zone at least so it's definitely um official to knocking around which is really really encouraging so uh yeah beautiful evening it's been an absolutely stunning day beautiful day the weather's been absolutely glorious considering what we've had um sort of this week although um i say it's been gruesome it's actually been decent fishing conditions to be honest but i haven't been able to get out myself i've just been uh getting wet through doing the usual day-to-day -day activities so that's the only reason why i say it's been a bit minging because uh yeah it's got me drenched every time i've stepped out the door but uh but yeah as you can see the sun's out it's beautiful a um, couple of hours of daylight left and obviously the sun will be setting and we'll be uh fishing through the hours of darkness now i need to be away from here half seven eight o'clock absolute latest and uh I need to make the most of really these uh, these hours of darkness and hopefully nick myself another morning bite. But um, yeah, the rods are out there. They've been out there for a while. Um, there's bait over the top of them. It's going to be a case of just sitting on them now until tomorrow morning and hope they turn up hopefully a little bit earlier than uh, they did this morning. So uh, it'd be really nice to nick another bite if I can. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, it's just been... Uh, I'd say slow, peaceful, tranquil day. Just, yeah, just pottering around, doing bits and pieces, um, getting some pictures, product shots, you know, just the usual type of stuff when you're associated with, uh, when you're associated with brands. And uh, yeah, just taking in the nice warmth of that sun in all honesty. So I won't, uh, I won't rab it on anymore. I'll leave it there. But uh, you, know the, you know the score, you know the drill. If anything happens, the camera will be straight back out. So, uh, yeah, let's see if they make a reappearance through the hours of darkness or by morning time. But if not, I will be leaving anyway. A very, very happy angler. So, fingers crossed, see if we can nick one more. Be, uh, let's be cheeky and see if we can, uh, yeah, stick one more on the mat. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Well, it's around half past six then. I uh, set my alarm for six o'clock to uh, get up, get that kettle on and start getting packed down um, as I need to disappear within the, uh, yeah, within the next half an hour or so. Um, got bits and pieces to do today. I did hear a fish show around sort of half past five, just as I was sort of stirring, um, just as that dual carriageway was a lot quieter than it has been sort of most of this session. Um, yeah, as it was sort of calm, I did hear one slosh out there, so definitely still in the zone. Um, it's just whether I can nick a bite before I've got to disappear in, uh, in half an hour. But uh, yeah, still, nevertheless, I'm absolutely made up and buzzing with the fact that I caught sort of one of three thirties that live and uh, reside in this lake. So uh, yeah, still the a bit of the element of the unknown, which is uh, yeah really appealing to me. But um, but yeah, it's been nice to get on the scoreboard so so early on such a big chunk of water, which is by far one of the biggest lakes sort of I've ever fished in all honesty. So uh, so yeah, it's good to get off the mark. I'm going to wrap it up there. I've got a coffee somewhere down there that I need to get down my neck and uh, yeah, make the uh, short barrow journey back up to the car. So uh, if you've got this far, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate any comments, any likes, any new subscribers and uh, yeah, get in touch on any of my social media as always. Um, I've actually got a deeper feature tomorrow with James Armstrong and uh, Carpology which I'm really, really looking forward to, which is another reason that I've got to disappear today, because at some point I'll need to swing by the supermarket and pick up some bits and pieces for that as well. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that, something a bit different, and actually doing a feature with uh, another angler, um, which you will all know anyway as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I will leave it there unless anything happens in the next uh, sort of half an hour or so, if not, uh, thank you for watching and uh, as always come and say hi on any of my social media and I will catch up with you next time I am out on the bank.